I welcome you all to NDI's 23rd Convocation Ceremony for PGTM Batch of 2018-20. With the permission of our Honorable Chief Guest and uh, Honorable Convocation Chair and the presiding guest, I hereby declare the 23rd Annual Convocation of New Delhi Institute of Management open. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the director of New Delhi Institute of Management, empowered by its high powered board of directors, I hereby confer the postgraduate diploma in management to all the qualifying students of the batch of 2018-20 and hereby charge each one of you with the coveted responsibility to prove yourself worthy of this diploma by your conduct, behavior, and performance in every walk of your life for the betterment of the society at large. It is our honor to welcome our most distinguished chief guest, Sri N. Chandrasekharan Ji, Chairman, Tata Sons, and presiding guest, Sri Ashok Kumar Gupta Ji, Chairman, Competition Commission of India, to the 23rd convocation at NDIM. We take extreme pride in welcoming a large number of graduating students, their parents, distinguished board of directors, and honorable guests who have joined us today from different parts of the country to stand with us and support us on this occasion. May I now request our chairman, Dr. V. M. Bansal, to please deliver the welcome address. Dr. Bansal is a former distinguished bureaucrat. He was the youngest and the longest serving secretary of DDA for 17 years and was advisor to the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. He was directly dealing one-to-one -one with the Prime Minister's office, with the Union Ministers, and with every Chief Minister. In the field of education, he has brought several big reforms and has been taken by the Government of India on a number of its important committees. He heads the board with several Padma Shris, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Vibhushans and seven former secretaries of government of India. Sir, may I please request you to deliver the welcome address? Yeah, thank you so much. It's a real pleasure and great honor to be sitting here for the 23rd annual convocation of the PGDM batch of Tendi I am. I recall the days when it was set up by my late father, Mr. Bansal, who was a member of the UPSC, and by the then chairman, UPSC, and Justice Sarkaria, with a mission to pay back to the nation. Over the years, we have continued with the same spirit, with the same love, and with the same support that we are getting from the industry, from the academia, and the board of directors some of whom are present over here today. Wherever college stands today is all due to the support, guidance, and leadership of very distinguished board of directors at NDIM. They would see, and our honorable chief guest and honorable presiding guest would also see, we are perhaps the only college which announces names of the companies where students are placed at the time of graduation ceremony so that the world really knows that we are known and we are correctly known for 100% placements of the students. Yes, we are honored and privileged to have that, but I just want to convey deepest of the gratitude to the chief guest which is the biggest name in the Indian industry as on today. He's sparing time for us, all of us, the board of directors and all my faculty and all the students owe a big gratitude to him because we know how we struggled to have one hour, five minutes out of him. He was so busy and he was very kind to give us 15 minutes, but he was, he ultimately, accepted our request. So thank you so very much. Uh, he's a product, he started his career or started his education career finally with REC Tirichapalli. I'm also graduate of REC Kurukshetra. 
so that also gives me some kind of bonding with him so but like him somebody who was known to be a farmer's son rising to be chairperson of tata sons it's something very remarkable every indian has to learn out of this remarkable journey over the years and that's what we are trying to learn out of him today several distinguished ceos and chro of tata sons have been associated various companies of tata sons they have been coming to our platform in the last two years but yes we never could imagine that one day we'll have the chair person himself with us so thank you very very much sir for being with us and deepest gratitude to my very warm i don't say old colleague but yes we have been friends and colleagues for a very long time ashok kumar gupta ji the chairman of the competition commission of india who just at a request he said yes i'm available i don't have court that day so you please go ahead so very grateful to them extremely grateful to the board of directors once again and i'm very proud when i'm meeting the graduating students when i'm meeting the new admitted students of this batch who have just been at the campus now for the last 12 months they joined campus last august and already big companies like the loyet and all of them e and y they are recruiting with us sir this very month they are recruiting with us in september okay so we are daily struggling who should be given the first slot so the honor for this the pleasure for this and the privilege for this goes to the blessings of the board of directors thank you very much please take it forward i'll not take more time we are keen to listen to the chief guest and the presiding guest thank you sir it is my privilege to request our esteemed board of director shri tarun vijay ji former member rajya sabha and chairman national monuments authority of india to bless the graduating students and say a few words mr tarun vijay is an indian author social worker and journalist he was the editor of the panchajanya for 22 years may I request tarun vijay sir to please bless the students uh namaskar it's a matter of great honor for creating a galaxy in the convocation function i congratulate uh, the creator the conceptualizer from our deepest core of heart shri v m mansal ji who is an inspiration to us all he has created a world of academics of academic excellence of educational brilliance and above all he has injected a sense of patriotism in the student if you are an indian student your heart must throb for the country your heart must throb for mother india that's what swami vivekananda said whatever you earn in your life whatever great awards and rewards you earn in your endeavors they are worth nothing if you don't serve the cause of your nation if you don't serve the cause of your people if you don't serve the starving millions that we see in india we see uh, several republics in india in economic economic conditions there are indians who have not a single day passed when they don't have a proper when they have a proper meals when we train on both sides we see that the poor indian and the farmers they are fighting these plastic sheet house
can change this in the I think sir has an activity issues. You, you may proceed. You yeah. may proceed further. Yeah. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. May I now request our esteemed board director, Professor D.P. Agarwal, sir, to please bless the graduating students and say a few words. Professor D.P. Agarwal was the chairman of Union Public Service Commission for a full period of six years. Professor Agarwal has initiated major reforms and improvements in the scheme of various examinations, including the flagship civil services examination conducted by the commission. Sir. Afternoon to everybody. <clears throat> I'm honored to be present on the occasion of 23rd Convocation of India. My association with the student, my, with the institute is for almost six to eight years. And I have been have a chance to look at very closely. At the outset, let me congratulate all the students who passed out from India. And I must say they were all very lucky that they came to India. In recent years, the growth India has shown under the leadership of Mr. Bansal is remarkable. They produce graduates which are industry ready. They produce graduates which are critical thinkers. They produce graduates which can work in teams. All that I would say to the young students who are getting into the marketplace in the work field, that future rests when you think out of box. The future rests with you when you can design and develop products at low cost, utilizing the local material and still keeping the quality of high speech. Today's speakers are two very eminent people and I'm sure they will touch some of the requirements of the work field when they're going to bless you. I once again bless you all. My congratulations to all of you to be in the IM. My support always has been there. The only institute which looks futuristically, participates in the programs of the government. And Tarun Vijayaji mentioned, try to inculcate a culture of patriotism and goodness for the nation. Thank you very much and I wish you the best. Thank you, sir, for your kind words of wisdom and blessings. I would now like to invite our distinguished board director, senior advocate, Mr. Rupinder Singh Suriji, additional solicitor general of India, to please bless the graduating students and say a few words. Mr. Suri was appointed as Additional Solicitor General of India in June 2020. In recognition of his diverse contributions and expertise, he was designated as Senior Advocate by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in 2009. He was the President of the Supreme Court Bar Association in 2017 and has been the President of the Supreme Court Advocate on Record Association between 2004 and 6, Mr. Suri has been regularly handling diverse legal matters for central and state governments, public center uh, undertakings in diverse fields and has represented them across the various judicial fora in India. May I request Mr. Suri to say a few words? Honorable Shri N.C. Chandrasekhar Ji, Honorable Shri Ashok Kumar Dukka Ji, and V.M. Bansal Ji. Uh, my compliments on this 23rd convocation where all the students are getting graduated and they have the proud uh, record of 100% placement. And quality is uh, self-evident and there's a saying in Hindi, that a person like uh, Chairman Tata Sons is here and a chairperson of competition commission is there. They would never be here unless this Institute was making waves. But more than the persons who are passing out of uh, the system, I would like to compliment the vision of uh, VM Bansalji and his late father. Now it's like a march of the spirit by the Hegel. That idea comes in the mind and then it gets magnified 
in the actual spirit. So at that time when I knew Mr. B. M. Bansal, they were just toying with the idea of having an academic uh, institute and all that. And today, lo and behold, everything is there. It's really a march of spirit showing itself, contrary to what Karl Marx said that all thoughts emerge from the stomach itself. My heartfelt uh, congratulations to B.M. Bansalji and the vision of his uh, late father. And I wish you really take it uh, to the top and never, never settle for mediocrity and the quest for excellence should continue. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for blessing the students. We would now be announcing the specialization toppers, followed by award of first phase of PGDM diploma. Coming on to the specialization toppers of marketing, the bronze medalist is Tanu, working with Derma Soft Inc. Silver medalist Akanksha Gupta, working for Deloitte. Gold medalist Gaurav Sharma, placed with Hindustan Unilever Limited. Moving on to the finance specialization, bronze medalist Ritika Suri working with BlackRock, silver medalist Yamini Ekavade working for Deloitte, and gold medalist <coughs> Karthik Sharma placed with Deloitte. Moving on to the HR specialization, bronze medalist Aditi Bajaj placed with Nokri.com, silver medalist Pankhodi Mohan working for Gartner India, and gold medalist Rijul Jain placed with Ernst & Young. Now I would be announcing the first phase of postgraduate diploma awardees. Aditya Kumar working with Better Mortgage, Aditya Maheshwari working with Balaji Trading Company, Aditya Sharma working with Kent RO Systems, Akash Garg with V2 Retail, Akshita Sehgal with IDFC Capital First Bank, Aman Arya with Real Time Data Services, Amandeep Singh with ICICIC Bank, Aniruddh Day with Ernst & Young, Asavari Pahwa with British Council of India, Avinash Singh Chauhan with Oyo Rooms, Ayushi Srivastava with AXA XL, Ayushi Bansal with Oyo Rooms, Ayushi Jain with Deloitte, Bhavya Chaturvedi with HT Media, Gagandeep Singh with Ad Factors PR, Gaurika Mishra with XL Dynamics India Private Limited, Harmeet Singh Batra with Adani Wilmer Limited, Himani Batra with Amazon, Himani Olak with Eliot Scott HR, Ritik Srivastava with Nimbus Post Private Limited, Ishani Sharma with Next Brands Inc., Karan Kumar with Kent RO Systems, Kaushik Das working with Amazon, Komal Rajput working with Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance, Kriti Pahuja with AXA XL, Manan Sharma is an entrepreneur. Namita Kumari working with coffeemug.ai, Noreen Ansari with SNP and Global, Palak Goyal with Mansuk Securities and Finance Limited, Piyush Parik working with Ernst & Young, Pranjal Saraswat with City Union Bank, Pratik Jain working with Amazon, Prerna Sharma with India Mart, Priya Gupta with Blue Moon Bre Beverage, Raj Sisodia working with BlackRock, Rashi Jain is an entrepreneur, Rishab Sharma working with Liberty General Insurance, Ritesh Kumar working with URS International, Sadhana Kharol working with Pasona India, Sakshi Jain working with Amazon, Soumya Saraf with Saraf Steelhouse, Shelly Singh for Ernst & Young, Shivam Srivastava with American Express, Shreya Srivastava working with Ernst & Young, Rohan Chavla working with RevMax Technologies Private Limited. Supriya Ghosh is an entrepreneur. Tanvi Marwaha, working with Deloitte. Tanya Bansal with BlackRock. Tanya Chhabra, working with Baijus. Tushar Kesri, working with Ernst & Young. Tushar Seni, working with Planet Spark. Uttaran, working with Vastu Kriti. V. Vishnu, working with Forbes India. Vaibhav Gupta, working with Amazon. Vikas Chandre with JK Tire, Vishal Varshne with Ernst & Young, Yogesh Tevatya working with Kotak Life Insurance, Akash Yadav is an entrepreneur, Arit Bajaj with Hello Parent, Astha Gupta with Deloitte, Abhinav Kumar with Express Bees Logistics, Abhishek Panwar with Posh Technologies, Akshay Swaroop with Bajaj Electricals, 
Amit Kumar with Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance, Ankit Chaudhary working with Amazon, Anup Kumar with Aries Communication, Anurag Upriti with URS International, Anusha Vig with Berkeley Motors, Ashriya Gosai has gone for higher studies, Ashwini Patel with E2E Networks, Ayushi Tomar with Hello Parent, Bhanu Pratap with ICICI Bank, Briti Alisha working as an entrepreneur, Devashish Bora contributing to family business, Garima Bhatt is an entrepreneur, Gorang Sharma working with BlackRock, Himandri Adhikari with Analytics Vidya, Jagriti Jaipuriyar with BlackRock, Karan Pawar with Mystique, Kashish Agrawal with Elite Land Base, Kushbu with Technopack Advisors Private Limited, Kunal Bagai is an entrepreneur, Mayank Bhatia with Reket Ben Kaiser, Nakul Singh with Neo Growth Credit, Nikita Hasija with ITC Limited, Nikita Jindal is an entrepreneur, Nishant Jindal working with City Union Bank, Purvi Varshne with ICICI Bank, Prachi Gupta with Gemini Solutions Private Limited, Preeti Gupta working with ICICI Bank, Raj Roshan with Amazon, Rakshita Pant with Hapal, Rishav Bajad with City Union Bank, Rohini Mishra with SRC Textiles, Ruchin <laughs> Dhaka with Apple, Saksham Mehta with High Beam Global Knowledge Services, Sandeep Kumar Yadav with Compunal Staffing, Sangya Malhotra with B2 Retail, Shahbaz Kamal with CL Educate, Shreyansh Seth with Baijus, Srishti Sar Sharma with Airtel, Shubhi Garg with Excel Dynamics, Siddhant Pakshi with 21 North Europe Assistance, Soumya Keshri with Vishuddh Ajivam, Shubham Balasya with Protivity, Tanishka Goel with JITM Skill Private Limited, Tejas Sachdeva with Rishi Tech Projects Private Limited, Udita with Tech Mahindra, Umesh Walia is an entrepreneur, Vaibhav Singla is with Family Business, Yash Malik with Amazon, Aniket Puri working with, as an entrepreneur, Anirban Jana working with TCS, Ankit Bansal with Ernst & Young, Anushka Raz with ICIC Bank, Apurva Kumari with Amazon, Arigo A with Delvin, Ashima Sharma with Artec Infosystems, Binayak Singh with Bharti Airtel, Chandan Kumar working with Marico, Dheeraj Ahuja with MTF Infotech Private Limited, Dipanjan Day with Ujivan Microfinance Bank, Divya Bangal working with BlackRock, Gaurav Tyagi with Reliance Geo, Gurpreet Singh with BlackRock, Harsh Kumar Karnavat with Anantnath Skycon Private Limited, Jitesh Shivani with Rikita, <coughs> Juri Boro with E2E Networks, Jyoti Verma with Kotak Life Insurance, Kailash Singh Rotela with Mansuk Securities and Finance Limited, Karan Matai with Delivery, Madan N with Deloitte, Mamili Umbre with Bennett Coleman, Meenakshi Verma with ABP Networks, Vittal Manohar Jaiswal with Neo Growth Credit, Namrata Samal with Experts Global Private Limited, Neeraj Behel with Better Mortgage, Nikhil Gupta with Regalo Kitchens Private Limited, Nisha Sharma with Amazon, Palak Gupta with Better.com, Piyushi Jain is with Family Business, Pooja Upadhyay working with Deloitte, Pranjal Sharma working for Sprinkler, Prerna Verma with Excel India Business Services Private Limited, Raghav Gera working with CL Educate, Rahul Singh working with HT Media, Rohit Chaudhary with Express Beast Logistics, Sachin Shyokhand with IDFC Capital First Bank, Shivam Pandey with AXA AXXL, Shivangi Bakshi with Continental Tires. Congratulations to all the winners. May I request Dr. Tina to kindly take over? I'm happy to welcome over 900 students and guests from the industry who have joined us today before we move on. With the permission of honorable distinguished guests, we would be announcing the overall toppers now. On this occasion, NDI is highly gratified to take this opportunity to acknowledge the excellence holders of postgraduate diploma in management in various specializations approved by the AICTE, Government of India. The winner of Institute
Two bronze medal is Ritika Suri working with BlackRock. The winner of Institute Silver Medal is Yamini Ikavade, plays with Deloitte India. And the Institute Gold Medal goes to Karthik Sharma, working with Deloitte India. Congratulations to all of you. May I now request Mr. Ankur Bansar, Vice Chairman, NDIM, who's a Chartered Accountant and an MBA from Carnegie Mellon University, USA, and formerly an investment banker and consultant with Bank of America, Ernst & Young, and Arthur Anderson to please invite and introduce Honorable Chief Guest to deliver the convocation address. I take extreme pleasure and pride in inviting one of the leading men of our times, Mr. N. Chandra Sekharan, the Chief Guest for today's convocation. Mr. Natarajan Chandra Sekharan is Chairman of the Board of Tata Sons, the holding company and promoter of all Tata Group companies. The Tata Group companies across 10 business verticals have aggregate annual revenues of over 110 billion US dollars. Mr. Chandra joined the board of Tata Sons in October 2016 and was appointed chairman in January 2017. He also chairs the boards of several group operating companies, including Tata Steel, Tata Motors, Tata Power, and TCS, of which he was the chief executive from 2009 to 2017. In addition to his professional career at Tata, Mr. Chandra is a director on the board of India's Central Bank, the Reserve Bank of India since 2016. Mr. Chandra is on the International Advisory Council of Singapore's Economic Development Board. He is the chairman of IIM Lucknow, as well as the president of the Court of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. He is also the co-chair of India US CEO Forum. He is on the Board of Governors of New York Academy of Sciences. Mr. Chandra has been awarded several honorary doctorates by leading universities in India and internationally. Mr. Chandra is also the author of Bridgetal Nation, a groundbreaking book on harnessing technological disruptions to bring Indians closer to their dreams. He is also an avid photographer and a passionate long-distance marathon runner. Sir, may I request you to please deliver the 23rd Convocation Address of NDIM. Thank you, Dr. Bansal, Chairman NDIM, Mr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, Chairman Competition Commission of India, the Distinguished Board of Directors of NDIM, Distinguished Faculty, and my dear students. It is a great privilege and honor for me to participate and share this important convocation and deliver an address. Let me start by first congratulating all the graduating students on your great success. I want you to think about the post-pandemic world. In order to think about the post-pandemic world, you got to travel back almost a decade to the 1918, 1920, when we had another pandemic, the Spanish flu. During that time, India lost 60,000 people due to the First World War. But at the same time, the Spanish flu claimed 16 million Indians. The government at that time, which had long underinvested in public health, had to ask for help. And many groups responded and the organizations came together to navigate the pandemic. The parallels today are unmistakable. We now find ourselves at a threshold, hopefully past the worst stage of the pandemic. There have been 223 million COVID cases globally. We're still seeing nearly six lakh new cases every day. And so far, there have been a reported deaths worldwide 
of 4.6 million people. Thankfully, the COVID situation in India seems much better now, with a clear trend in the right direction in terms of the number of new cases or the deaths or the test positivity rates. What should we be expecting going forward? We will have to expect that we'll go back to normalcy, but not the normalcy that we actually knew it. Virus variants and vaccination will be key to determining the extent of the opening and what the new normal will be. First, let us accept that the vaccinations are making a big difference. The speed at which the COVID-19 vaccines have, vaccines have evolved is truly unprecedented. Typically, it takes years to even reach a trial stage and further time before it can be used externally. In contrast, thanks to the scientific advancement and the collaboration between global governments and organizations and regulators and policy makers, COVID-19 vaccines have been developed in less than a year. 5.7 billion doses have been administered globally and roughly 30% of the world's population is fully vaccinated. However, there is a stark divergence among countries. Major advanced economies have vaccinated nearly 70% of their population with at least one dose, while the number for the developing economies is 41%. In India, we have so far vaccinated more than 40% of our population, at least the first shot. In absolute terms, this is the largest of any country outside China. India administered 180 million vaccine doses in August 2021 alone, more than the combined number of all the G7 countries. At the current rates, we can expect that we will vaccinate 60% of our population with one dose in the next couple of months and 90% of the population before the end of the year or something that we should watch. Especially, they may lower the vaccine efficacy. But one thing is for sure, COVID will remain with us. We may be looking forward to getting back to normal, going back to office, more social inter interaction, but we will also have to learn to live with the necessary protocols so that even if COVID continues for a long time, we are able to get back to normalcy and do things that we want to do. Set against this backdrop, you are graduating at a very, very pivotal moment. The past 18 months have been dramatic in a way we have experienced before. On the one hand, we have collectively faced overwhelming challenges and hardships. The human toll alone is difficult to accept on the vulnerabilities in the healthcare system and the social safety nets, not only in India, but across the globe, both in the developing nations and in the developing, developing, developed nations have clearly been exposed. At the same time, we have experienced significant advancement that we could not have imagined from scientific breakthroughs to new, new ways of learning, living, and working. The COVID, in a way, has been a tremendous catalyst. The digital technologies have been adopted and accepted at an unbelievable rate. I believe that the new India that emerges in this decade can be a global leader in the digital technologies leading to higher level of investments in research and development, science and technology, artificial intelligence, advanced manufacturing and next generation business models, products and services. We have the right human capital. We have the scale. We just need to get the right mindset and make the appropriate investments. And for that, we need to start with the fundamentals. Let us go back and look at the year 2000 to 2010. That year, that decade, China went from 
1.2 trillion to more than 6 trillion, a 6x growth in 10 years during that decade. It was primarily driven by a tectonic shift in manufacturing. Today's geopolitical context provides an unparalleled opportunity to India to navigate the world order and take the top position and become a leader in the next generation technologies. We have what it takes to be a technology leader. We have already proven that it can be done in the IT services. We have the skills and talent to lead similarly in high-tech, 5G, artificial intelligence, data, robot, robotics, as well as in advanced manufacturing. When it comes to digital technology, we need to reimagine the whole national footprint. To do this, it is vital that AI and other digital innovations are designed for everyone, not only for the elites. It is about using the artificial intelligence and access to the tools of the artificial intelligence to the skilled, no skilled, and common people. There is no hello about artificial intelligence. When we can empower the people at large with artificial intelligence and the tools, instantaneously, their ability to perform with a higher level of skill will go up. India has always had a problem of missing middle. We have very highly, highly skilled people and we have low skilled people. There is a large gap. All of this can be fixed if we can empower people with AI and AI tools. COVID has highlighted this opportunity and the challenge. On the one hand, we have seen a tremendous acceleration in digital adoption. At the same time, the digital divide is wider than ever. It is clear that there has to be urgency in equalizing national access to health, education, safety, and wellness. Progress cannot be gradual anymore. We do not have the luxury of additional 20 more years to do this. Using digital technologies to solve our biggest challenges like access to health and education will create new markets that did not exist before because people in many parts of the country do not have access. While the city kids could adopt to education using digital technologies, there were many people in different parts of the India did not have access to the infrastructure, the devices, and lost out. This needs to be addressed. When we create this, when we address this, we will create new markets. And those markets will in turn create millions of new jobs. Most importantly, these jobs will be for low-skilled and mid-skilled workers who can substantially benefit from technology that augments their roles. The pandemic has shown that the digital solutions can improve access by augmenting the work that importantly still must be carried out by people. It is never technology or people, machines or people. It is technology and people, technology for people, technology by people. Aside from digital acceleration, the pandemic can also help us conjure new model of Indian growth with sustainability at its core. Lockdown offered a tantalizing glimpse of unpolluted cities, which were a moment of joy in a difficult time. In South Bombay, where I live, in a very, very busy pedal road, during the pandemic, we could see clear skies. We could see the distant water in the sea. We could listen to the chirping of the birds in the morning. So if you address the pollution and the sustainability issue, we will certainly have a better world. COVID-19 can prompt us to invest in R&D in future growth sectors, such as renewable energy. Within two decades, nearly 20 new energy sources would likely be powering the global economy. Already we are seeing exciting innovations like microgrids, for example, can power entire villages and towns, serving households and businesses and public institutions like healthcare clinics and schools. This is the future of affordable, reliable, and clean electricity, not just in India, but around the globe. 
given where india is in our economic development curve this is also a great opportunity to create jobs through building a green economy whether through solar installation microgrids sustainable cooling and better waste management similar to the digital opportunity and the opportunity in sub sustainability the global supply chain is getting redefined most of the global supply chain today are dependent on a single country the world wants to build resilience the supply chain will get redefined from just in time to just in case so that will be an important opportunity for india to pivot there will be an india plus base which will become the heart of the global supply chain on the fourth health safety and wellness will get tightly integrated in any form of service or product and that will receive utmost priority from the consumers of tomorrow if you want to participate in all of this and achieve success it will require a dramatic shift in mindset i hope you all know how uniquely placed you are at this moment you have it within your power to shape the destiny of our country and given the education you have received at ndiim i must say that your work for uh, for attaining this degree and you can be the leaders of tomorrow who can make all the difference as you step out into the world remember that the crisis has taught three important lessons first we have actually proven that it is possible in a matter of few weeks the entire economic system of the world can be brought to a halt something one never thought is possible second the adaptability of people the speed at which the people respond and adapt to adversity and new challenges whether with hunkering down and distancing themselves or working from home or learning from a distance that speed is faster than we realize we are more capable as human beings than we realize the third the pandemic brings to reality something that we have long spoken about that the risks that we face today are truly global in nature unless or otherwise we address the needs of every citizen and every human being in the developed and the developing economy and achieve equal access we are not going to be out of risk that is the right thing to do and that is a must do indeed the hardship of the pandemic has been tempered by heartening acts of collaboration companies citizens and governments have come together in ways before the pandemic would have been very hard to imagine this is a tremendous opportunity for india india to better itself and lead in the new world and this opportunity is your opportunity for the world is being totally rethought now and it will be rebuilt over the next few years never before has there been such an opening for bold new ideas and one more unlike the nations and corporations weighed down by history of doing things in a particular way you are a fresh and are at the beginning of your journey your thinking is unconstrained by habit or convention it is why though i am the one giving you advice today it will be soon me who will be turning to you for guidance i wish you all the very very best and congratulate you once again and congratulate all your teachers and your parents and your siblings who have all contributed to your success thank you very much to ndiim and to mr tk nair who approached me and to dr bansal for giving me this opportunity thank you all for listening
Thank you, sir, for your thought-provoking and inspiring convocation address. I'm sure our students feel really blessed to receive your pearls of wisdom and are motivated to lead India of the future. Thank you once again, sir. May I now request our esteemed board of director, Shri TK Nair, sir, to bless the students. Mr. Nair served as the advisor to Prime Minister of India with the rank of Minister of State. He also previously served as Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister of India. He is IAS from 1963 batch and has served as Secretary Government of India and Chairman of Public Enterprise Selection Board. He was conferred Rising Sun of Japan Award by Emperor of Japan. Sir, may I request you to please say a few words and bless these students. Thank you. <clears throat> Our uh, very distinguished uh, chairman uh, of uh, the uh, India AM, uh, my friend, uh, Dr. Bensal, the uh, chief guest of the convocation, chairman of the iconic uh, Tata Group or the Tata Sons or the Tata Empire of India, Sri N. Chandrasekhar, Chairman of the Competition Commission of India, Mr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, very uh, distinguished members of the faculty of the uh, NDIM, dear uh, students who are passing out of the patrons of this great institution. It's my uh, great uh, privilege and honor to be with you on this uh, 23rd uh, convocation of your very illustrious institution. Thanks to Mr. Benson, I have had the opportunity of being with the uh, graduating students of uh, the previous years too. Well, uh, what to my mind distinguishes this institution and its alumni from the others is that during all these years, when we had the convocation, the students would have already been placed. They would have already found a place of honor, a place of uh, you know, their choice in one or the other companies of this country. Well, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So although I may be saying it in a limited sense to some, you know, some intellectuals, the proof of Mr. Bansal's success or the success of the NDIM is the fact that it's alumni. They find employment, suitable placement, even before they leave the portals of this institution. So this year also, let me take this opportunity to very sincerely, very heartily congratulate those who are going out and also wish and hope that those who are continuing their studies would have the benefit of uh, the, you know, the, the, the facility of this institution, including its, uh, most importantly, its faculty. Well, uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar gave us uh, such an inspiring speech in, uh, you know, 20, in, a, in a very limited period of time. He surveyed the current scenario of the whole world against the backdrop of this uh, pandemic. You know, against that backdrop, he has painted to us a picture of the challenges and opportunities the world faces, particularly for the people of India. He mentioned to us, which we know already, but still he emphasized the fact that we are still a developing country. We have got challenges galore. In the midst of all those challenges, we have had to face this pandemic. And we have, thanks to you know, the, 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 the uh, combined efforts of practically every citizen of this country, whether he be in the health sector, he be in industry, he be in the information technology, whatever is the sector in which he or she is engaged, we all work together with the government and under the guidance of the central and state governments, we were able to overcome this uh, great pandemic, uh, you know, more successfully, let me say, than many other countries. And the challenges and opportunities which we are faced, which uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar elaborated, to our uh, enlightenment, our knowledge, they are fantastic. And as they say, there is nothing permanent in this world other than change. So we are living in an age of change. Every moment, every day, we are seeing changes which we couldn't have foreseen in the past. Those challenges also 
open us tremendous opportunities. As Mr. Chandrasekhar mentioned, practically everyone in India, with the help of information technology and uh, the other evolving technologies in, uh, you know, in IT, we are able to provide employment opportunities to the people and those who are willing to work, those who have the aptitude and the inclination, they would be able to find suitable placement for themselves. Not only that, these opportunities would create an India which is far better than the India in which we are living or the India which has been the victim of uh, the pandemic. So my dear young friends, I am nobody to advise you. You have heard the words of wisdom indeed from Mr. Chandrasekhar. They give you enough of indication the manner in which, or the ways in which you can mold your future. It is in your hands. Definitely it is in your hands. It's not in the hands of other people. Your future is in your hands. Mold it the way you like. But keep in mind that we are part of a large country of millions of poor people. So to the extent you and I can help them in whatever little way we can, I think that would give us greater satisfaction than uh, you know, being the champion of this or that or making billions of dollars. I think the Tata Group is setting an example in uh, corporate social responsibility and in many other ways, partnering with government and uh, non-government institutions, they are providing uh, the guidance and providing the support to many, many institutions working all over India for the betterment of the people. So my dear uh, friends, uh, let me hope and pray that each one of you would find your place in this large country Place which will enable you to contribute to the well being of society. Mr. Benzel, thank you once again. Uh, and uh, 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 Mr. Chandrasekhar, I, I hope uh, uh, you know the half an hour which uh, you have spared out of your very, very busy schedule. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, I mean, I, I need not repeat it how precious your time is, but you have had uh, the graciousness, the dark heartedness to spend a few minutes with uh, these youngsters. And I'm sure your words will ring in their ears. They will continue to inspire them for many, many years to come. Thank you, Mr. Benson. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your kind words and blessings to our graduating students. It is my pleasure to share with our honorable chief guest and the presiding guest about the journey of NDI. New Delhi Institute of Management was set up in 1992. It has been declared Best Management Institute of India for industrial linkages three years in a row by the AICT Government of India and the Confederation of Indian Industry after the nationwide year-long surveys of all the 10,000 plus technical and higher education AICT approved institutions across India under 19 different parameters. NDIM has been declared Best also by the SOCHAM in 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21 for placements and for being best in North India, and is also known for finest placements. NDIM was declared best also by the FIKI for excellence in employability through industry engagement on Feb February 2021. And having been declared best in India continuously for three years in a row, NDIM has been elevated and declared as the first and the only mentor institute of India in the management category by the AICTE. This would not have been possible without the support of each one of you. Now, before I invite our presidential guest, Mr. Ashok Kupar Gupta, sir, for his address, may I request Chairman Dr. V. M. Bansal to please propose vote of thanks to the esteemed chief guest, Mr. N. Chandrasekhar. Thank you so very much, uh, Chandrasekhar Sahab, for sparing your very, very valuable time. What you spoke today is uh, opening up of a lot of information doors, not only to the students, but to the academia and the industry across the country, which is attending this convocation today. Already while you were speaking, some requests have come from 
the leading magazines that they would like to uh, take excerpts out of what you have said. So whatever you say means a lot to the industry, means a lot to the academia, and it means a lot to the students and all of us. I don't have any words to express my very, very deep gratitude. We have been able to follow the tradition set over the years of having Ram Mukherjee Saab, Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, and now a very, very distinguished, extremely distinguished person in the industry speaking to all of us and giving away the coveted diplomas. Thank you so very, very much, sir. And uh, if one, two more lines, I'll just like so that you as chairperson of the biggest industrial house of the country. Uh, we at NDM, our MBAs, they graduate with all the new age skills. That's what is making difference. They graduate with a full specialization into artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics. They graduate with a full specialization on digital marketing in addition to marketing. And they graduate with all the other tools of SQL or SAS or R or Python or all of them. So the skills that are initially expected to be only with the engineers or the computer engineers or the AI engineers, our graduates are making a difference because they graduate with all these skills also. So if at all, if at all, I should not be saying so to a person of your stature, if at all, we could possibly, our students could work possibly more deeply, if not as employees, but maybe as interns of the Tata companies. Possibly there will be a lot of learning from both the sides and we will be able to add a lot of value there too. And being an ASCT approved, totally standalone independent institution, we have all the flexibility and liberty to change the curriculum within 24 hours. So in case anything is required to be delivered to the students while they are at the campus with us, as per expectation of a particular company of yours, we can always do it so that the time our internship is cut short or is eliminated totally. And we prepare, or you can say in your words of manufacturing, we manufacture something which is straight away, which can be put onto the lathe to produce the results. So we'll be extremely grateful, sir, if you kindly think on these lines also. It will be, it will be a, a, I can only assure you, while it will be a great favor to us and the students, it will also, I'm sure, in some way, help the empire that you're heading because we're adding these new things. And that's the only reason why our students are making a difference. So I don't have any more words to thank you. Whatever I speak will be too very less. But I would only request that once in a while, now since we feel, you may not feel, but we feel that we are connected with you. So we feel we have a right on you. Whenever you get time over the years, kindly do spend some time with the students and difficulty. We need to be learning a lot and lot and lot more from you and all the great people working with your group. Thank you very, very much, sir, for sparing your time. We are extremely grateful and that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bansal, and it's a privilege and uh, um, congratulations, and it's very inspiring what you have built, and we look forward to engaging with your students um, and learn and see how our uh, HR people can connect with your institute. Thank you so much. Oh, that will be great honor to us, sir. It will be, it will be great out the favor to us. I can only show you that we will deliver more than what we speak. Yeah. Thank you, sir. With your, with your permission, I will sign off now. Yes, thank you. We thank you, sir. After, uh, so much of time you could basically spare for us. Thank you so very much. And kindly stay connected. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our presiding guest of honor, Mr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, Chairman, Competition Commission of India, who very kindly consented to preside over the 23rd Convocation Ceremony. Mr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, is a 1981 batch IAS officer of the Tamil Nadu Kada. He has had an illustrious career of 40 years in public service 
spanning across sectors from industry, finance, health to defense production. Prior to joining the commission, he has held several key positions in the central government, such as secretary to the government of India, in the department of defense production, where he was responsible for liberalizing the licensing regime and FDI policy. Previously, he held several positions in the ministries of health, heavy industries, shipping, MSME, commerce, and industry. While posted as joint secretary in the Ministry of Health, he was dealing with matters relating to international cooperation, World Bank, and WHO projects. He was instrumental in formulating several government policies, such as automobile policy, Prime Minister's Rojkar Yojana, make procedure in defense procurement, and establishing Vardhman Mahavir Medical College, Delhi. He has extensive experience in industry and has headed and turned around state public sector units and served on the boards of central and state public sector undertakings, such as Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Heavy Engineering Corporation, Tamil Nadu, Cements, and many others. Before moving to the center, he held various positions with the Tamil Nadu government. A gold medalist in mechanical engineering from Delhi University, he also holds a postgraduate degree in public administration from Syracuse University, USA, and an MPhil degree in Defense and Strategic Studies from Madras University. May I now request Mr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, sir, to please deliver his presidential address. Mr. Chairman, Tata Sons, I know he has left. Uh, Dr. B. M. Bansal, Chairman, New Delhi Institute of Management, eminent personalities, distinguished board of directors, faculty members, and my dear students. I am delighted to be here at the convocation ceremony to award postgraduate diplomas in management. This institution has carved out a unique place for itself amongst various MBA schools, and I must compliment each and everyone associated with it for maintaining these exceptionally high standards. I convey my heartiest congratulations to the 23rd batch in whose honor this function has been organized. I would also like to convey my sincere thanks to my friend, Dr. V.M. Bansalji, for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts with you. We have all passed out from a very prestigious institution and this must rightfully give you a sense of pride. This is a landmark moment in your lives. Since you, are all, since you all will be occupying positions that will be instrumental in building various organizations, I should tell you something based on my 40 years of experience as a civil servant that will help you manage those positions. You should enjoy work. Whatever assignment is given to you, should be executed with a sense of joy and purpose. If you really want to enjoy an assignment, you have to go into the details and understand the fundamentals of various issues. Once you gain a command over the subject, you will see that you will start enjoying the work and excellence will follow. In a long career, it is entirely possible that you don't always get an assignment of your choice. That will be tough, but your attitude towards such assignments will have a bearing on the nature of subsequent assignments. You will be judged by your contributions to assignments that may not be very glamorous or to your liking or which no one wants to do. But once you deliver such assignments, your versatility and talent will be appreciated and will stand out amongst your peer groups. Here I would like to quote technology pioneer, Steve Jobs, who said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Please note, in some situations, you may not have to love what you do. The choice might not be yours. As we all know, Verbal communication is only a minor part of total communication. Often what is not verbally articulated expresses itself 
to body language at all times note that your body reflects your state of mind if you are not enjoying your work even though you may not say so in as many words your body language will reveal it unless you are a great actor so when you interact your entire body should be involved the movements of your hands head etc should reflect your enthusiasm conversely it is important that as you move up in hierarchy you begin reading the body language of your juniors and not merely depend on verbal communication that will help you with decision making in any assignment there should be clarity of thought and no confusion about any issue in the bhagavad gita shri krishna said that the confused mind makes a person lose one's ability to reason and power to solve one's problems should any confusion persist it is incumbent on you to resolve such doubts doing so will bring a remarkable measure of consistency in your decision making never make a decision that is not in line with your convictions if your decisions are based on extraneous factors you will find that they lack consistency and cause problems i'll give you an example i know an officer who was the home secretary of a state he sanctioned someone's criminal prosecution the aggrieved person went to court stating that the home secretary had sanctioned the prosecution in just two days which shows that there had been no application of mind you will be surprised to know the reply of the home secretary he stated that he clears all files on the same day but since this was an important file that required application of mind it took two days the court accepted his defense based on his track record he had such a high degree of clarity that he never left anything pending clarity of thought will not only ensure consistency but will also help dispose of matters faster always maintain good relations with your boss peers and subordinates maintaining good relations does not mean being a conformist not challenging other people's views one can be firm as well as cordial good relations hinge on clear communication between professionals therefore it is always important to listen very carefully to what the other person is saying and not jump to conclusions it is also important to pay due respect to your boss the reasons are twofold your boss definitely has more experience than you and secondly be at a higher vantage point in the organization your boss has a better understanding of the vision of the organization i have seen some cases where people narrate and treat any instance of disagreement with their boss as a badge of honor it never pays off and only serves to lower the degree of professionalism at the workplace and people eventually begin viewing that person with circumspection i am not trying to say that there cannot be a genuine difference of opinion between you and your boss however you must not only be cautious between but courteous and polite while communicating such a difference of opinion as plato once said wise men speak because they have to they have something to say fools speak because they have to say something during your career you will come in touch with senior officers who are your well wishers try to remain in touch with them they could be your mentors and provide useful guidance in difficult situations but do remember that a senior officer would like to reciprocate and be in touch with a junior officer only if he or she feels that the junior officer has some potential and if groomed well can become an excellent officer hence you have to give a good account of yourself before establishing such a mutual relationship after all senior officers are inclined and positively disposed towards mentoring junior officers who have proven themselves and are going to be an asset to their organizations always try to maintain a good and healthy work life balance give time to your family look after your children for it is your responsibility to bring them up to become good citizens of this country this may require you to curtail activities that do not help you in the long run either personally or professionally work life balance is often a neglected area and people later regret not giving enough time to their family contrary to popular belief 
this regret does not dissipate with the passage of time, but only becomes more intense. Therefore, take care, take care of your spouse, children and parents from the beginning, and only then you will find that you have achieved satisfaction in life. When you do justice to your personal and professional life, you have understood the true meaning of life. Related to this, keep your conduct above board at all times. You are being judged all the time, whether you are in office or at home. No amount of preaching works. Your children will copy you in total. If you are sincere in your dealings, your children will imbibe the same qualities. Similarly, you are being observed by your senior <coughs> colleagues and subordinates. So it is in your interest to put your best foot, foot forward, forward all the time if you want to do well in life. Expressing yourself clearly is very important. If you have the ability to express your ideas with clarity, you will find that you are able to carry your proposals through. In today's age, this is becoming all the more important. There are a number of assignments where the ability to put your views across is highly appreciated. As you move up in hierarchy, your responsibilities as a leader will increase. You'll be required to tell your team about your vision. And in such a scenario, articulation becomes extremely important. You will soon find that irrespective of the unit, division, or section you are heading, your work may require you to inspire your juniors and highlight your plan of action so that your team works seamlessly. This brings me to a related point. You should always have a vision for your organization. The story of Session, the Chief Election Commissioner in the 90s, is a striking example of the transformation that an individual can bring about. He redefined the status and visibility of the Election Commission of India. He had a vision and implemented a series of electoral reforms that had never been done before. He articulated and implemented his vision with ruthless efficiency and the election commission was never the same thereafter. As an officer, always follow the spirit of the rule and never constrain yourself by the technicality of the rule. It is for you to creatively interpret the rule to achieve the desired purpose. Rules exist for your guidance and do not cover each and every situation. Trust me, no one has landed in any trouble for not following the rules provided, provided the decisions are made in the larger interest of the organization and without any hidden agendas. On the contrary, I know a case where an officer blindly followed rules and landed in serious trouble. Why? Because an officer is expected to keep his or her eyes and ears open while following rules. You should have a knack for getting work done rather than blaming rules. People who succeed are fiercely outcome oriented and have transformed organizations with the same set of rules. It is their administrative acumen, clarity of thought and positive outlook that ultimately yield the desired results. You may have seen numerous instances where an organization is totally transformed with a change in leadership. Thus never use rules as an excuse for not doing things. This is a sign of weakness and lack of self-confidence. The law is just a set of instructions and has to be interpreted in the context of ever-changing real scenarios. As the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji tells, make yourself aware of ground realities and fulfill the aspirations of people accordingly. Aspirations are dynamic and contextual, but the law remains the same. Hence, the spirit of law supersedes the letter. To conclude, everything you choose to do is a step towards your future and will become a part of who you are, just as the choices you made in university and your memories at the New Delhi Institute of Management have become a part of each and every one of you. It will start molding your personality and a unique identity will start emerging. People will talk about you as you move from one place to another. In fact, your likes and dislikes, biases and prejudices will be known to people before you take up a new assignment. Your rise will follow a scientific process and will be contingent upon multiple feedbacks from various stakeholders. It may, appear, it may appear to you that life is very long, but it is not so. I vividly remember 1981 when joined Indian Administrative Service. These 40 years have whisked by. As it is in cricket, 
which is a one ball game in life too you have to focus on the issue confronting you at that point of time this is a sign of an uncluttered mind so live each day with complete consciousness and soon you will observe that you will carve out a career that is resilient to the vagaries of fortune on that optimistic note i would like to conclude with a quote by thomas jefferson who said i find that harder i work the more luck i seem to have once again heartiest congratulations to all the students and the family members on this great occasion and thank you dr bansal saab for giving me this opportunity thank you thank you so firing a very great thank you for most the most of thanks for presiding guest no uh, thank you uh, ashok sir thank you the chairperson of the cci uh formally addressing you uh you have been very supportive very kind to us from day one in fact uh, uh his ascendancy in the civil service or his uh, one after the other remarkable assignments in the civil service have deprived ndim of a very big resource which people do not know uh ashok gupta ji at one time wanted to do phd with us and i suggested to him that you have a long career to go so let's not think of it and we'll think of it after you retire so i'm happy that he's not retiring he's serving the nation in one of the other way in a fantastic manner and i also want to thank him because our students with a one week full cci certificate course last six months back while the pandemic was there full on because that is necessary for the coming generation if they have to serve in this country and of course even even they have to serve overseas or with the multinational companies so thank you very very much bhai and i would request you to kindly stay till the end because most of the students are yet to receive their diplomas and their awards i'll be grateful for that thank you very much please take it forward thank you thank you sir i'm extremely happy to request distinguished board director mr sk arya chairman 2 billion dollar dollars jbm group to bless the graduating students by saying a few words mr arya started his journey in 1983 by setting up jbm industries which is one of the leading suppliers to indian oil and gas companies he collaborated with maruti suzuki india limited to form a joint venture company called jay bharat maruti limited the jbm group is also working with clients as ford mahindra honda vw and so on covering all major auto oems may i request mr arya to kindly bless our students yeah namaste good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and the friends from the industry today we have the august presence of shri n chandrashekharan mr ashok kumar gupta dr vishnu mohan bansal and senior advocate mr r s suri professor dp agrawal and many other distinguished guests it's my immense pleasure in participating with you at this annual convocation ceremony and i extend my heartful welcome to you all events like these remind me of my college days and i can tell you one thing that this will be one of the most memorable milestone of your life you all have worked hard to reach this moment and i congratulate each one of you for this great achievement however i can assure you that this is just the beginning of a great career pgdm from ndim will give you wings to soar the heights of success and leave a mark on the industries and the companies you choose to work for it's a vuka world volatile uncertain complex and ambiguous and to perform in this world we as future managers need the ability to think out of the box innovate analyze adapt 
learn, unlearn, and relearn. I am sure that you have learned all these aspects of business in your course. And I am confident that each one of you will become a great manager, leader, and entrepreneur. During last 18 months, we'll, we all have learned the hybrid working from home, working, which is a completely new dimension of working life. This will change the future way of working and will bring unassumed opportunity through technology. As the chairman of the JBM Group, I can share my experience with you that to become a great leader, apart from these skills, you will also need the ability to listen to people, to empathize with them, and to trust them. Great leaders are great listeners and orators too. Though you have learned the basics, to champion these traits, you will need to work across the management hierarchy for a couple of years. A true leader is the one who is easily approachable and who is looked up to by his teams for guidance, support, and learnings. It's a great moment for you, your families, your teachers, professors, and for this nation that needs great minds to work in harmony to become the hub of technology and to lead the world. I thank you all for inviting me to this event and wish all the graduating students the best of luck for their future endeavors. My blessings and wishes are with you, all of you. I would like to conclude my words with my few lines in Hindi. Manzile unhi ko milti hain. Manzile unhi ko milti hain jinke sapno mein jaan hoti hai. Pankhon se kuch nahi hoga dosto, hauslo se udaan hoti hai, hauslo se udaan hoti hai. Thank you very much and I especially thank Dr. Bansal once again for inviting me. Thanks a lot. Namaste. Thank you, sir, for inspiring our students. May I now invite our distinguished board of director, Mr. P. Dwarkanath, former chairman GSK and former president NHRDM, to bless the graduating students by saying a few words. Mr. Dwarkanath is a senior industry leader and has mentored many young HR professionals over the year. He worked with GSK for four decades and nurtured the workforce with the rich experience across functions. He has over 40 years of experience in engineering, chemical, pharma, and consumer goods. Uh, Mr. Dwarkanath, you're requested to kindly bless our students, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. It's indeed a great honor and privilege to be here today to attend this 23rd convocation of New Delhi Institute of Management. It's indeed a historical and landmark event, as very rightly alluded by Mr. Ashok Gupta ji in his talk. And on this auspicious occasion, I wish to extend my warm greetings and congratulations to all the successful outgoing students. And I wish them all the best in their endeavors, whether they are in the corporate or industry or they're on their own, I wish them all the best. And I am very certain and having been associated with the New Delhi Institute of Management, which is under the dynamic leadership of Dr. William Bunsell, is driving these initiatives, especially for, for the young people. And I'm certain that you will not only bring laurels to yourselves, but also to the Institute. Please note, I would like to emphasize a New Delhi Institute of Management has been consistently acknowledged, recognized by the, all the industry bodies of India as the best industry-linked business school for last five years, which is a great landmark. So friends, young friends, my session is work with passion and purpose, what, whatever you want to do, please do enjoy what you are doing, but do it ethically, and try to bring, as I said, fame, name, and glory, not only to yourself, to the country, 
as well as to your alma mater, namely New Delhi Institute of Management. Please remember, one should be very proud of their roots, whether be it your school, now it's which is New Delhi Institute of Management, which is shaping your career, and you have a long journey, and I'm sure that you'll follow the business ethics and values, what were being imparted by your parents and teachers, and in the business school where you have been given the finishing touches to, to become a good leader. So please remember the quote of Steve Jobs, the best way to predict future is to create it. You are at the right time, at the right place. Please enjoy and do it well. Please stay safe and well. Thank you. Best of luck. And I wish to again acknowledge New Delhi Institute of Management and Dr. Bansalji for giving this opportunity to bless all the successful outgoing students. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, sir, for blessing our students. May I now invite our distinguished board of director, Dr. Mahesh Gupta, Chief Managing Director, Kent Aru, and former President, PhD CCI, to bless the graduating students by saying a few words. Dr. Gupta, please. Namaskar. Thank you for inviting me, Mansal Saab, for this 23rd convocation. Ashok Gupta ji and dear students, it's a real honor for me to participate in this convocation and to bless you all for graduating. You are very lucky. You are graduating today is one luck. You are graduating from India and is second luck for you. And listening to the wisdom of Mr. Chandrasekhar and Mr. Ashok Guptaji and distinguished directors of the Institute is a great honor for you all. For me, it's an honor that I have listened to the advice of such dignitaries today. I would only say at this time that you are graduating in the very challenging times of pandemic as described by Chan Shekharji, but a positive side that we are coming out of it. And also the climate change is happening in the whole world. So these challenges of climate change and the change of energy which we use is going to pose a lot of challenges to all of you, as well as the exciting times which is going to be seen by the change in technology which is happening at a very fast pace will bring a lot of opportunities to you all in your career. So you are passing through these times. You need to build up your career. And I wish you all a great success in your career as you move forward. The success will not come to you easily. The success has been advised by everybody will come through a lot of hard work. And this hard work will happen through a great passion for the work which you do. So passion is something you need to build in whatever you do. But simultaneously, I wish you to be a good human beings and to be good human beings, you all want to be happy. Unless you are happy, it's a very, very difficult task that to want to be successful and you want to be happy. Well, I'll give you a simple mantra that to be successful, you require passion, but to be happy, you require this passion. So you need to build both the qualities in you and to be happy, you also need to be compassionate to everybody. So if you can build these three qualities in yourself, you will have a great life for you. And I wish you all great success and happiness in your life. Thank you very much. And I also thank Bansalji for inviting me to participate and listen to all the wisdoms of the great people today. And Namaskar. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for blessing and advising our graduating students to be great citizens of the country. I would now like to request and invite our another esteemed board director, Mrs. Anuradha Goel, to bless the students. Mrs. Goel is an active philanthropist involved in social welfare activities for the last 40 years. She is currently working as a chairperson of PhD Family Welfare Foundation and PhD Chambers Women and Child Development Committee, directing public welfare programs, which include medical care, health awareness, water conservation schemes, skill development, and income generation in low-income areas. Ma'am? Um, esteemed Shri Ashok Guptaji, NDIM, NDIM Director, Dr. V.M. Bansal, distinguished board members, guests, 
graduating students namaskar dear students today is a very special day in your lives as you graduate from an institution the ndim which has given you excellent training in the courses you have completed it has also given you values to imbibe as you embark on your chosen career be committed conscientious open to new ideas of sharing and learning and above all be ethical in your dealings as you progress in life spare a moment for those less fortunate if you have helped one citizen of our great country live a life of dignity then your own life has been well lived and you have become an integral part of nation building best wishes for a meaningful useful career with unmatched success in the years to come dr bansal and faculty of ndim we are proud of you proud of producing such worthy students and graduating class we are proud of you for having obtained your degrees thank you namaskar thank you ma'am thank you so much for blessing the students it gives me immense pleasure in introducing and inviting a very special contributor of ndim family to bless the graduating students ndim is eternally grateful to our distinguished board director major general dn khurana for being a well wisher and guiding force to all of us since the foundation years of ndim Kurana sir has been the longest serving director general of All India Management Association a former member of All India Council of Technical Education and All India Board of Management Studies he has made exceptional contributions in learning and practice of management in India he was one of the key leaders of Asian Association of Management Organizations in Asia Pacific region as its secretary general and continues to be its honorary advisor Sir has served on board of governors of many institutions of higher learning. Sir, may I please request you to bless the students? Professor Tina, maybe we can come back to him. Uh, yeah, thank. Right. So, sir would join us later. Uh, moving on, we would now be announcing the winners of Mrs. Santosh Pansal Certificates of Excellence to those young students who have demonstrated highest standards of excellence in education in the first, second, and third semesters of their PGDM and earned NDM scholarships. This scholarship is instituted in the memory of a co-founder, Mrs. Santosh Pansal, who worked silently till her last. to contribute to the nation building by taking up a number of social causes especially women's education and empowerment the award recognizes the diligent students who have outshined based on their merit and overall performance in all the semesters we would now be announcing semester 1 winners of mrs santosh pansal excellence scholarships first rank of first semester shikhar srivastava second rank yamini ekavri rank 3 ankita choudhry rank 4 ritika suri rank 5 tanu sixth rank gorav sharma rank 7 ashish ilabadi rank 8 arushi jain rank 9 vaishali datta 10th rank mayank bhatia 11th rank devanshi sharma rank 12 simran raheja rank 13 rupali agarwal rank 14 shehri singh rank 15 priya kila moving ahead to the winners of semester 2 mrs santosh pensel excellent scholarships first rank is akanksha gupta rank 2 ritika suri rank 3 shikhar srivastava fourth rank vaishali datta rank 5 kartik sharma rank 6 navneet kaur Seventh rank Ankita Chaudhary, eighth Simran Raheja, 
rank ninth, Mansi Neki, tenth rank Priya Kila, eleventh rank Nitika Kochar, rank twelfth Tanu, rank thirteen Gaurav Sharma, rank fourteen Niharika Mathur, rank fifteen Prince Manchanda. Now we have winners of semester three, Mrs. Santosh Pansal Excellence Scholarships. Rank first, Karthik Sharma. Rank two, Yamini Ekavde. Rank three, Tanya Gupta. Rank four, Piyush Parikh. Fifth rank, Ritika Suri. Rank six, Gaurav Sharma. Rank seven, Pankuri Mohan. Rank eight, Naman Mehdi Rata. Rank ninth, Raj Shodhya. Rank 10th, Rijul Jain. Rank 11th, Tanya Bansal. 12th rank, Aditi Bajaj. Rank 13, Priyanka Kaushik. Rank 14, Neha Dhawan. Rank 15, Srishti Arora. Congratulations to all the meritorious winners of Mrs. Santosh Pansal Memorial Excellence Awards. May I request Professor Shagun to please take over the announcements. Thank you, ma'am. We would now be awarding the functional area toppers and the second phase of the diploma awardees. International Business Management Specialization, Bronze Medalist Indrakshay Talpara, working with Cisco Cybersecurity Private Limited, Silver Medalist Prince Manchanda, working for Trident, Gold Medalist Arshi Singla, managing her own venture, Nails by Arshi. Now, toppers for Operations and Supply Chain Management Specialization, Bronze Medalist Naman Mendirata, working with Deloitte, Silver Medalist Tanu, working for Dermasoft, Gold medalist Gaurav Sharma working with Hindustan Unilever Limited. Moving on to the toppers of the digital marketing specialization, bronze medalist Shubhangi Jain working with IDFC Capital First Bank. Silver medalist Akshay Suru working with Bajaj Electricals Limited. Gold medalist Shazan Salim Khan working with Cool Boots Media Private Limited. Now, toppers of the business analytical specialization. Bronze medalist Akanksha Gupta with Deloitte. Silver medalist Yamini Ikadwe working with Deloitte. Gold medalist Karthik Sharma working with Deloitte. We would now be continuing with the second phase of the diploma awardees. Shivangi Sharma is an entrepreneur. Shivani Rawat with Excel Business Services Private Limited. Shweta Sharma is with Bajaj Electricals. Sumesh Chaudhary is with Ernst & Young. Sunali is with DHL. Sonali Bora is with Sher Samadhan Private Limited. Sumit Bhatt is with British Council of India. Suraj Kumar is with E8 Water Private Limited. Tanvi Agarwal is an entrepreneur. Tarandeep Kaur is with Baijus. Webhav Singh is with Deloitte. Vikas Kumar is with Express Bees Logistic. Vinayak Menon is with Kotra. Ashish Abadi is with BlackRock. Abhikaram Gupta is with Upgrad. Ashwarya Gupta has gone for higher studies. Akanksha Gupta is working with Deloitte. Amit Sharma is with Nokri.com. Anshka Sharma is with Nokri.com. Anushka Gupta is with Times Internet. Chandini Baveja is an entrepreneur. Chintrakshi Sharma is with Global Lancers. Dashmeet Kaur is working with Nestle. Dipanj Pawa is working with Deloitte. Diksha Pupneja is working with Oyo Rooms. Gagandeep Sharma is working with Deloitte. Garima Jori is working with Ernst & Young. Gaurav Sharma is with Hindustan Unilever. Gurkirat Singh is working with PNS Intelligence Private Limited. Jatin Jotra is working with Pinnacle. Jitesh Agarwal is working with Ox Oxen Partners. Jotsna Kala is working with JB Micronics. Kanika Bajpai is working with Deloitte. Kanika Sharma has joined her family business. Karthik Vadva is working with Dimension Next Infocom Private Limited. Kriti Patel is working with Hatch. Kushal Mara is working with HTB Financial Services Limited. Naman Jain is working with Deloitte. Nandika Sharma is working with Nestle. Navneet Kaur is working with BPS Analytics. Pranjal Bhogal is working with Times Group. Prashasti Sharma is working with Deloitte. Prabha Patnaik is, is an entrepreneur. Preeti Kumari is with BlackRock. Prerna Pawa is working with Planet Spark. Priya Heather is working with PWC Kolkata. Rajit, uh, Rajit Chakravarti is working with Deloitte. Reshmi Kilatkar is working with Employer. Sahib Kumari is working with Bennett Coleman. Shivani Gupta is working with Great Stack Learning. Shivani Singh is working with CTCNS Clothing Private Limited. Shubham Mehta is working with CN Analytics. 
Shubhangi Avasthi is working with Ernst & Young. Shweta Ranjan is working with Upgrad. Siddhant Verma is working with Nokri.com. Simran Raheja is working with CN Analytics. Smitika Singh is working with Vipro. Sovik Sarkar is working with Delivery. Srishti Alora is working with Ernst & Young. Srishti Singh is working with Dupla Private Limited. Sukanya Sharma is working with Dabur India Limited. Swapnil Sarkar is working with Ernst & Young. Vamakshi Shirmi is working with Eloid Scott HR. Varun Kumar is working with ICICI Bank. Varun Mishra is working with Better.com. Varun Sood is working with BlackRock. Vasu Basin is with working with No Brookwood. Vidushi Kapoor is working with Neil Sen IQ. Vikram Akhilesh Bhan is with Can Support. Abhishek Chandra is an entrepreneur. Abhishek Pandey with ICIC Bank. Aditya Man with Corporate Resource Consultant. Aditya Tyagi with Visit Health Private Limited. Aman Garg is with SNP Global. Ankit Raj is with Kent RO System. Ankit Tandon is with Edu Wiki Consultancy. Anu Kumari is with ICIC Bank. Aparna Gupta is with British Council of India. Ashish Tyagi is with Parley. Ashish Upadhyay is with Dense to Ages. Devyansh Kumar Sharma is with City Union Bank. Deeksha Agarwal is with HT Media. Himanshu Shil is with Amazon. Jagriti Arora is working in his own family business. Jatin Saini is with White Hat Junior. Keshav Agarwal is working with Zomato. Mohammed Haviz with CL Educate. Naina Bharani with Deloitte. Nakul Singla with Singla Industries. Naman Tiwari with Agra Marbles and Tiles. Nandalal Singh is an entrepreneur. Neha Chohan is with BlackRock. Neha Tomar is with AXA Excel. Nitika Kochar is with CN Analytics. Prateek Kumar is with Deloitte. Prince Machanda is with Trident. Push is with Trident Information System Limited. Raja Chohan is with HFFC. Rishabh Tyagi is with Kotak Life Insurance. Rishabh Raj is with LNT. Ritika Prasrichia is an entrepreneur. Riya Rajdev is with Yantra. Robin Minj is with Prosperity. Rohan Banerjee is with Better.com. Sanket Raj is with AXA Excel. Satpratap Das is with BlackRock. Sarthak Tiwari is with Express V Logistic. Saurav Singh with V2 Retail. Sayak Chaudhary with CL Educate. Sharon Priyanka with Connect to India. Shashank Shekhar with Moolchan Medicity. Shazan Salim Khan with Cool Boots Media Private Limited. Shivang Gupta with Dot Pay Private Limited. Shreya Bhatt with One Extel, Shubhangi Jain with IDFC Capital First, Sunali Chadda with Group M, Sumit Arora with Lido Learning, Sumit Kumar Chauhan with Colgate, Sushil Kumar with Oyo Rooms, Tanvi Parekh with Deloitte, Umang Mathur is an entrepreneur, Vivek Agarwal is, an, is with Deloitte, Yamini is with Pritoma Dome, Yanshit Khattar is with AXA Excel, Yash Kapoor is with Delivery, Ayush Saxena is with Pinnacle Works. Akanksha Kumari is with ICIC Bank. Akul Mahajan is with Shamlal & Sons. Aman Chabla is with VisualX. Anamika Prasad with DLF Limited. Anshika Chopra with Oyo Rooms. Anushka Arora with HT Media. Arita Shah with Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance. Ashutosh Kumar with Express Bees Logistic. Avi Narang is working with Emery Price Financial. Bharat Gupta is working with Indus Valley Partners, Bhavo Kumar with Amazon, Divyanshi Sharma with Amazon, Divya Yadav with Bridge Group, Gaurav Singh with ITC Limited, Himanshi Goel is an entrepreneur, Jason Joan is with Trade Brains, Jyoti Anshu is with CL Educate, Karanveer Kichi is with Express Beast Logistic, Kartik Sharma is working with Deloitte, Kushbu Arora with Amazon, Kunal Khanna is an entrepreneur, Kunal Kohli is working with Cashkoro.com and Manish Tyagi is working with Edelweiss Brooklyn. Congratulations to everyone. Yeah, may we request Professor Sainthi to please take over. Thank you. Sirs, I would now be announcing the final phase of diploma awardees and winners of summer internship projects. Every year, our students undergo rigorous eight to 10 weeks of summer internship with best of companies. They learn about an industry and its nuances through the process of internship. Each year, Institute identifies 10 best summer internship projects out of the batch 
based on various parameters. The top 10 winners of summer internship projects of batch 2018-20 are Abhishek Gupta, Dana Behrani, Niharika Mathur, Vivek Agarwal, Mahima Dudeja, Mamli Umre, Anmol Arthur, Siddhant Bakshi, Mojit Morali, Kunal Kohli. I would now be announcing the final fees of diplomas. Manav Jain is placed with Kent RO system. Mansi Negi is working for InfoAge India Limited. Mansi Pan is working with V2 Retail. Mayang Khator, gone for higher studies. Nalini Sagar is placed with Densu X. Nancy Kurana is with Ernst & Young. Nidhi Joshi is with Ernst & Young. Nikhil Matia is with Vedantu Innovations. Nirmal Fatial is with AGL. Nisha Bharti is with E2E Networks. Nisha Jha working with Siddhar Ood. Nitesh Kumar Singh is with V2 Retail. Pratyusha Goswami working with Ad Factors. Priya Sharma is with Deloitte. Rohan Sharma is an entrepreneur. Rohan Thakur is placed with AXA Excel. Sahil Arora is with Blue Moon Beverage. Sahil Hussain is an entrepreneur. Samir Asif working with BlackRock. Somia Gulati is with To The New. Saurabh Sajal is with IHS Market. Shivam Goel with Excel Dynamics. Shivam Yadav is with Mahalakshmi Tractors. Shivani Verma working with Ornach.com. Sreya Arora is with British Council of India. Tanya Gupta is with Deloitte. Twinkle Agarwal gone for higher studies. Umesh Nijhavan is with ITC Limited. Bevab Singh is working with Art Factors. Vaishali Datta is with BlackRock. Akash Mehta is with Profality Business Solutions. Achal Baveja is an entrepreneur. Ashi is with Elite Land Base. Ayush Agarwal is with Ernst & Young. Abhishek Kumar is with Amazon. Abhivyakti Upadhyay is with No Paper Forms. Aditi Bajaj is with Nokri.com. Ajay Singh Bansal is placed with Sian's Analytics. Akanksha Talwar is with Deloitte. Akash Chaudhary is with Better Mortgage. Akshit Sharma is with Paytm. Anjali is with Ernst & Young. Anjali Gupta is with Ernst & Young. Anmol Arthur working with Interview Beat Software Services. Arshi Singla is with Nails by Arshi. Arushi Gautam is with HUL. Arushi Jain is with Sian's Analytics. Chandana Manchali is with TCS. Dev Pasi is with Bichness. Ghanishta Talwar working with BlackRock. Hina Kosir working with Buy Back Art. Indrakshi Talapatra is with CISO Cyber Security. Jaivir Kesriya is with Group M. Gino Vergis is with Netoid. Kanika Singh working with Sriram Pistons and Rings Limited. Mahima Dodeja is with KPMG. Manan Garg is with Deloitte. Mayang Mittal is in family business. Mohit Arora is with Amazon. Mojit Murali is with Amazon. Ritunjay Sahani is with Deloitte. Mukta working for Deloitte. Naman Mahindiratta working for Deloitte. Neha Dhawan is with the Not Worldwide. Niharika Mathur placed with BlackRock. Nikita Agarwal working for Buddhist Corporation. Nitesh Srivastava is with Ernst & Young. Pankaj Yadav is with Densu Ages. Pankhuri Mohan working with Gartner India. Paul Diman working with Amazon. Pratyush Singh is an entrepreneur. Priyanka Kaushik is with Ernst & Young. Rijul Jain is with Ernst & Young. Rishabh Kapoor working with Deloitte. Ritika Suri is with BlackRock. Ruchika Jain is with BCCL. Sahil Mehta is with HUL. Sanjana Kapoor is with Connect to India. Shikhar Shivastava working with Paytm. Shraddha Surbi Topo working with Randstad. Srishti Arora is with Sian's Analytics. Siddharth Sharma working with Bharti Airtel. Siddharth Narang is with TCS. Sonal Jaiswal is with XAA Excel. 
Sonali Singh is with Edelweiss Broking. Sukhmani Kurana is an entrepreneur. Vishap Sondhi working with No Brokerhood. Yamini Ekavare working with Deloitte. Yashika Chuk is with Scalar Academy. Abhishek Gupta is with SNP Global. Anjali is with Ernst & Young. Ankit Banka is with Ernst & Young. Ankit Singh with JK Tire. Aparnesh Mukhopadha is an entrepreneur. Ashley Robin Newton working with Trident. Ashleen S is an entrepreneur. Ashmita Shukla is with City Union Bank. Avantika Wisht is in family business. Charanjot Singh working with AXA Excel. Dipangshi Bansal is with SNP Global. Dhruv Mahajan with To The New. Dipti Yadav with VSC Consulting Private Limited. Harsh Nagar with Amazon. Harshita Singh with Densu Ages. Himangshi Goel with BlackRock. Himangshi Sethi with Unimarket Research. Kirti Goel with KPMG. Mansi Gupta with Amazon. Maxwell Messi with Potak Life Insurance. Mayang Salar working with OPPO. Mayang Tiwari working with Ernst & Young. Mitali Das gone for higher studies. Mukesh Chaudhary working with BlackRock. Namita Sharma is an entrepreneur. Navneet Chandra working with Delivery. Nikhil Somani working with Adani Vilma. Nirmal Sutradhar working with Talishman HR Solution. Nisha Mukhtar Pare is with Hindustan Unilever. Nishan Gupta is with City Union Bank. Praveen K with Densu Ages. Pratik Davar is with Davar India Limited. Priya Kila is with BlackRock. Priyanka Singh working with IOD. Purtika working with Forek India Private Limited. Rishav Gurwala is with IDFC Capital First Bank. Riya Mangla is with SNP Global. Rupali Agarwal is with SPA Capital Advisors Limited. Rupali Sawal is with Somia Lifestyle Limited. Sandeep Rawat working with BlackRock. Saurabh Rajput is with FIL Industries Private Limited. Shailinder Singh is with Delivery. Shashank Sandilya is with Cure Surgicals. Sritam Patra is with Cure Surgicals. Shubham Gupta working with To The New. Simran Jandai working with HUL. Swati Priya working with Densu Ages. Tanu is with Dharma Soft. Tarun Sharma is with Technochem Systems India. Udit Sharma is with Oyo Rooms. Urushi Shah is with BlackRock. Bevav Kohli is an entrepreneur. Vinita Tilwani gone for higher studies. Bipin Bhati is an entrepreneur. Harshita Bediwal working with Rigalo Kitchens Private Limited. Devraj Verma is with Amazon. Sakshi Sharma is with Nokri.com. Tushar Makija is with Vedanta Electricals Private Limited. Afanu Rahmar working with Accenture. Shurujit Shorkar working with Amazon. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Moving on, it gives me immense pleasure in introducing and inviting our very con special contributor once again. May I request Dr. and our board director, Major General D.N. Khurana, sir. He's been our well-wisher and guiding force to all of us since the foundation years of NDIM. Khurana, sir, may I request you to please say a few words and bless the students. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Bansal, uh, distinguished guests, my colleagues on the board, and the students, and particularly the graduate, graduating class of 2020. Uh, my heartiest congratulations to, of course, first the NDIM, Dr. Bansal, and the distinguished faculty for having brought out another batch of students who are going to make a major contribution to the growth and development of our country. As for you, my dear students, you deserve the very best of congratulations because you've reached a major milestone of your life at this moment. And particularly, you've been very fortunate to have got uh, intense grounding and learning in one of the top institutions of the country, the NDIM. In the last one hour or so, you heard some great words of wisdom from senior leaders, of business, industry, and academia. So I'm not going to give you any 
for the gyan, accepting that I would say as I look at you, as I, as I perceive you listening to me at the moment, I know I'm looking at the future leaders, entrepreneurs, and professionals of New India. And I feel extremely reassured that the fate of New India is in very good hands when new people go out into the market. Just remember the new Karam Bhumi that you're going to enter is going to be very exciting, very challenging, but it is going to give you opportunities galore. I'm sure with all the learnings, with all the uh, teachings, with all the insights that you have received, you make the best of the opportunities and all the, overcome all the challenges that will come your way. But I would just like to emphasize one point, that there is no nirvana in learning. Learning is a lifelong process. As you go along, you would learn, unlearn, relearn, and upgrade your skills. Because the technology, the world environment, both geopolitical, technological, economics, is going to change very, very, very fast. And pandemic has taught us a big lesson, as you heard from our chief guest. So I would just say that please make sure you keep yourself updated with your skills. Nothing is impossible. I can tell you as a soldier with nearly 41 years of service in uniform, that if you go with dedication, commitment, and innovative mind, and with your youthful energy, you would overcome any challenges. So I wish you all the very best, all the very best of luck, and go all out, ramrod hunting, and make the best of it. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for blessing these students. May I now request Bansal, sir, to please propose vote of thanks to our esteemed board of directors. Thank you so very much. It's been a great honor, great pleasure, tremendous privilege for having uh, the most distinguished seniors of mine present here as my board of directors. It is their guidance, their support, their leadership, which is taking NDM to unique and most distinguishing heights. Never ever we imagined that a business school can be declared best for industrial linkages and placements by all the business chambers of the country. Never ever we thought of. Business chambers are something which every industry, which every business person looks for, or every MBA school, every management of an MBA school looks for. And here it is now become the other way around, that every year they declare you to be the best. So the credit here entirely goes to the alumni, great alumni of this college, and all the industry guests who are still right now present here as a part of this celebration. They have stuck to us for the last two hours. So I'm deeply indebted to all the industry colleagues, our academy council advisors, our very great mentors who spend so much of time gratis with our students every month, all these years, and all the big recruiters of the country. And I'm once again in his absentia, thanking Mr. Chandrasekharan that he agreed to put in a word to his HR professionals to connect with NDI. I'm sure that's a great way forward. That's a great, I would say, achievement for all of you. And that achievement is primarily because of the learning the faculty at NDI is providing to each one of you. Ultimately, the industry looks for strengths and learning of the student. 
and they are seeing that learning in each one of you and i'm sure they'll see more and more of it in the coming years but my very deep and very sincere thanks to ashok gupta sahab for being with us for more than 2 hours now and for being with us all the time i i should not be saying on his face but he has been tremendous tremendous support guidance whenever we went for discussion with them he put his senior most person to connect with us and they till today stay connected with us for various opportunities for our students so thank you very much once again ashok gupta sir for presiding over today's deliberations and adding tremendous color and support to all of us with your being here i'm sure lot of industry is watching this and after listening to you many more people are going to connect with us so thank you so very much for that also and thank you so much tk nair sahab thank you everybody jalal khurana mahesh gupta sahab premnath ji everybody who has been here since the beginning anuradha ji arya sahab mr dwarka nath mr suri everybody was here everybody some of them were already busy and couldn't find time to speak so after this you would be seeing their videos of good wishes to each one of you so thank you very very much to all the board directors in fact uh, our khetan sahab was also speaking earlier but then he had some engagements after 4 o'clock so he has also sent his video but i must congratulate the parents the guardians of the graduating students it is a great day because their hard work their dedication and their trust in their sons and daughters has proved to be true today they are the proud parents and proud guardians for what their sons and daughters have achieved so it's a real honor and pleasure to us and my request to all the industry guests to stay connected with us over the days and years and to all the students to please be very serious now the students of i would say 2022 batch who graduate after one year from now since the placements have started in very big way so very early so please for the next 3 to 4 months be 100% at your studies be 100% with us so that all of you pick up the jobs like your previous batch 6 or 8 months in advance so thank you very much the esteemed board of directors and my grateful thanks to all the faculty colleagues all the staff members to the it support team to everybody who has been working very hard 24 into 7 last 18 months of pandemic time have really proved the tar faculty somebody may say the most of it is a female faculty this female faculty has worked 16 to 18 or 20 hours in the last 18 months that is unprecedented so there's no time limit for them rather during the offline times it was 9:30 to 5:30 so now they are available and they're working seven days of the week early morning to very late nights not once or twice but almost every day so very deepest gratitude to each of the faculty member each of the staff member with the support of the board with the support of the advisory council with the support of the mentors and great friends like ashok gupta ji we are very thankful to everybody thank you very very much and we assure you that we'll continue to add new age learning in the coming days in the coming months as we have been trying to do all the time thank you so very much everyone thank you so much sir we would now be playing short video messages from our other distinguished board directors who have sent their blessings for all our graduating students today i'm very happy that ndim led by a great person mr bansal is organizing the location of the school it is inevitable we have it on online i think i hope uh, this leads to different kind of 
dispensing education itself through online form. So batch which is going to pass out is very lucky to have passed out from a school as good as India, which has good leadership, good faculty. And that's why a lot of companies want to do campus equipment from such a great school. So all those who are passing out will be passing out at a time when management is going to be the key for managing future world. So I wish you all the best. Myself, Professor K.K. Agarwal, Chairman National Board of Accreditation, have been a well-wisher of NDIM since its inception. Let me first congratulate all the graduates of the day for having successfully completed their course, which was delivered, always keeping in mind their future readiness. I am sure that will help you in doing whatever you decide to do, to join a job, to go in for higher studies, to be an entrepreneur. My dear graduates, future is changing so fast and you must therefore be a continuous learner all your life. I understand creative learnability has been one of the goals set by NDIM for you. I'm sure you have acquired that attitude well and my best wishes for you to keep translating this into your profession every single day of life. I'm very happy that NDIMP is holding its convention and all the students who are going to get their degree, they are happy that this institute has now become the most famous because the chairman, Mr. William Bansal, and all the members of the board of directors, they are the most experienced and retired administrators and the best of the faculty members, they are guiding them. I wish you all a great success. Honorable Chief Guest, Special Guest of Honor, Board of Directors of NDIM, and dear students, it is my privilege to be addressing you today on the occasion of the 23rd Convocation of the New Delhi Institute of Management. All of you young students, are now set forth to go into the world of business and excel. Your education at this premier institute will give you all the tools which are necessary to succeed. In my four decades of work life, I have distilled my learnings into four simple thoughts. The first is transparency. The second is courage of conviction. The third is going into all the details of any job that you have. And the fourth is speaking out when you get the chance. I hope these will help you in defining your work life. And I wish you all success as I wish the NDIM Institute all the best in the future also. Thank you. Dear students, the management of the Institute, parents, it's a great pleasure and privilege to be part of this e-com, e-convocation, what you call these days uh, happening, is the students, the management, and the industry, all three are in a great tandem. They work so closely to each other. And the cross-learning happens, which is very, very essential and very, very beneficial for the all. And I wish you best. You all did so well and learned a new way of life learned a different way to being get educated, different way and means to get experience of technology, digital, e-com and also from the industry environment. I'm sure your careers or your next careers will be very, very bright in future. You're going to put the hard work smart work 
and going to be the leaders of the future. My best wishes to all of you, and I'm sure, like in the past, this batch will also bring a great honor and a great respect to the alumni and really brings a new brand to our organization. Thank you very much. Today we are celebrating in this convocation, 23rd convocation, your successful completion of the business management course. It gives me great pleasure in extending my heartiest congratulations and best wishes to you on the happy occasion. Your institute, which has the best industry-related uh, relationship, must have already helped you in finding a placement in the industry of your choice. I have no doubt that you will distinguish yourself in wherever you are and with your commitment to professional ethics and knowledge acquired, you will earn both name and fame both for yourself and the Institute. Best wishes. God bless. I am Dr. Vivial Madhukar, Director General of BRICS Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I am also a member of the governing body of your esteemed institute, namely New Delhi Institute of Management. And I take this opportunity of congratulating the graduating students who are going to receive their MBA degrees that they should be happy and successful in life. You are really fortunate to be associated with NDIM, which is being handled very ably by Mr. Bansan and his team. We also feel honored to be associated with this institute. We are passing through a very difficult time. Nobody knows how long this pandemic is going to last, but the situation is challenging, but it also gives a lot of opportunities. I wish and pray that you should not only uh, achieve your all ambitions, but take the country forward and let this Bharat be new Bharat in the times to come. I would like to wish each one of you a great success and a happy life going forward. Once you graduate from your master's degree from NDIM. NDIM is a great institute. I'm sure you've learned a lot. You've learned a lot of concepts and now it's for each one of you to apply those concepts in your practical life. On the soft skill side, for one message I would like to give to each one of you, and that is concentrate on P to the power cube. Patience, perseverance, and passion. If you have these three within you, for whatever work you are doing, you are bound to be successful you are bound to be happy. Heartiest congratulations and a very, very happy life after graduation from NDIM. Dear Chatro, today's day is for you. Because you have completed the education and the knowledge of your life or your life in the field of your life. There is an open and open space in front of you, which you have to prepare for your knowledge and to prepare for your knowledge and to prepare for your knowledge. आप सफलता के नए प्रतिमान स्थापित करें पर अपनी परंपराओं मान्यताओं और जीवन मूल्यों से जुड़े रहें अपने आचरण और व्यवहार से आप अपने परिवार और गुरुजनों का मान बढ़ाएं और राष्ट्र निर्माण में सहयोग करें आप अपने हर मंतव्य को सिद्ध करें उन्नति प्रगति करें और अपार यश कीर्ति अर्जित करें मेरी हार्दिक शुभकामनाएँ We would now be playing the videos of our meritorious students who won merit scholarships and awards today. My journey at NDIM has been wonderful, full of learning and growth. It has helped me become the confident person that I am today. Also, it provides uh, corporate grooming through various guest lectures, life projects and industrial visits. And I'm very thankful and grateful to NDIM for this amazing journey. I am Ritika Suri from PGTM Bash 2018-20. I came to NDIM with a goal of learning new things and today when I look back I feel it was an amazing journey full of learning and meaningful experiences. The training at NDIM 
helped me smoothly sail through my internships and final placements. Besides conceptual knowledge, NDIM has taught me other skills like how to build professional networks, make best use of given resources, and make business case presentation before senior management. The feeling of getting my final campus placement so early in my course with the world's largest asset management company, BlackRock, was amazing and it made my professors and parents proud. I am glad that my name has been selected for the overall merit holders as patch toppers, functional area wise finance toppers and have also been selected for the merit scholarship in three consecutive semesters. I sincerely want to thank NDIM faculties, mentors for providing me the practical knowledge on different aspects related to my job and for honing my skills towards innovation and growth. Thank you NDIM. I hope everyone is good and staying safe. My name is Karthik Sharma and I was part of NDIM batch 2018-20. I feel honored to receive a gold medal for being the batch topper. I would like to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to all my professors, mentors and teachers who have continuously helped me throughout the two years of my life at NDIM. I would also like to thank to the placement cell of our college. Because of them, I received the placement in Deloitte. I am currently working with Deloitte. It has been more than one and a half year for me work for Deloitte. And I received this placement in the third semester of my NDIM, and NDIM career only. So that was really a good achievement. Lastly, I would like to say that NDIM not only focuses on the education side of a professional, it also helps you to build the extracurricular activities like, ho like hosting separate sports events and other events which helps you to become a team, team player. Thank you NDIM for helping me throughout the career. Hello everyone, this is Indrakshi and talking about my experience and my journey at NDIM. It has really been an exciting journey. NDIM has taught me how to adapt to change. Coming from a city like Calcutta and adjusting in New Delhi was really challenging. But yes, with the passage of time, I did learn how to adapt myself to a new environment with the continuous support from all the faculty members. And yes, of course, I would like to mention my mentor, Dr. Gajendra Sharma who has been more than a guardian to me and has constantly helped me whenever I required help. So I'm always thankful to Sir. Thank you so much for that. And yes, another thing that I would uh, like to mention is that the continuous, the rigorous um, communication classes, corporate skill development classes has really improved my communication skills a lot. Previously, I had a fear of public speaking, but yes, NDIM has made me overcome that as well. And now I can confidently speak in front of public. So overall, it was a wonderful journey at NDIM. Thank you so much for this lovely experience. Thank you all. Hello, everyone. I hope all are staying safe, taking good care of their families and themselves. A tight virtual hug to all my batchmates for achieving this milestone. I know we all really, really wanted to meet in person, but yeah, this is the new normal. Virtual is the new normal and we are somewhere down the line accustomed by it now. <laughs> NDIM, thank you so much for providing us with plethora of opportunities starting from semester one till semester four. CRC, working day and night, getting us placed. Uh, GVC, CSD classes, preparing us for all the interviews, like everything. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful experience. Those two years were like amazing experience for all of us. Thank you so much for everything. Please stay safe. And I really hope that we all meet soon in person. On this side, hope you and your family is doing well in these tough times and hope most of you must have inoculated yourselves against this deadly virus. Three years have passed and it just feels like yesterday when I took the, where I took the most important decision of my life when I joined this college. And since then much has changed, to be very honest. Today I am far more prepared, better informed and uh, today we, I have built a reserve of my own knowledge against what to come. Transformed both professionally and personally I must say, thanks to all the NDIM faculty and fraternity out here. You know, the best thing about being graduated from this college is that they let you choose your own speed. The various case studies, GDs, mock interviews, CSD and GBC classes, etc. and stuff, you know, each were helping me develop my skills, which of course at that time I wasn't ready to accept. Today when I see myself, I've grown and I'm not the same person I was when I joined this college. Well, to conclude this, 
would love to congratulate all my batchmates who are graduating with me and uh, wish you all a very very good luck for the future ahead and have a nice day hi everyone my name is shubhangi jain and i'm a student of ndim i did my specialization in marketing and digital marketing and i'm a pass out of 2018 and 2020 batch i want to thank ndim for giving me uh, you know so much of exposure and opportunities in terms of seminars webinars trainings and um, you know all the live projects the internships and also certain online programs which ndim has told us to participate in that has helped me a lot in um, improving my overall personality and overall you know skill set towards corporate my journey at ndim has congratulations everyone may i request all of you to please rise in the honor of our national anthem जन गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा बिंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे thank you everyone for joining us today and congratulations to all our graduating students may i seek permission of our guests and chairman sir to close the formal convocation ceremony yeah please go ahead thank you we hereby declare the 23rd convocation ceremony of 2018-20 batch closed thank you everyone for joining us today